<laughs> hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Rust Can't Fly. Look, I got Woo! a passenger! <laughs> All right, so we are um, going to do some flying today. This is my sister, Charlene. We're going to talk more once we get in the air, if we have time and inclination, because it's going to be a little bumpy, um, but we'll see what's going on. But suffice it to say, this whole channel, this whole reason why I do this is because I want to be able to fly and share this with people. So your support of this channel, you know, buying merch, you know, sending super thanks, whatever, helps to defray the cost for doing this kind of stuff because this is my favorite part also if you see me looking around there's a bee in here and we got to <laughs> get this bee dealt with at some point <laughs> um so but at any rate um so we're gonna you know get this engine started get kicked up and get ready to fly our destination today is lincoln park you know i've been there before um we're gonna go there fly um land on that challenging runway on a really interesting day of windiness <laughs> um have some lunch and then fly on back so let's go ahead and get this engine started and we'll get right to it all right so before you start so pre-flight inspection we did that passenger briefing so you know how these seat belts work mm -hmm. if you need to get out you would basically just flip that seat that um, face plate up and then your door of course opens with yep. just the latch coming up yeah pulls it all the way up until it unlatches if it seems like it's having difficulty, just keep pulling that lever back until it unlatches okay your window simple latch mm -hmm. you know pretty much easy mm -hmm. most important mm -hmm. there is a fire extinguisher between us mm -hmm. if something happens here you got that okay i'm going to say charlene grab the fire extinguisher whatever seems like it's happening mm -hmm. spray it right at the base of that thing okay all right don't worry about it i'll be navigating but that will be something that i will definitely ask you to do mm -hmm. the other thing is as you can see before when we took off we took off read runway we're gonna take off runway five when they take off when we take off it's gonna be cool until we get above those trees so you're gonna mm -hmm. feel a little something so don't worry about it um should be fine i tell all passengers if you see something say something okay um you see it let me know you know this is a time where you get to be a backseat driver and i won't be mad okay uh, especially if you see another aircraft because most of the times i will see something but sometimes i may not see it i might be distracted any questions no okay cool um so your seats and seat belts are adjusted in locks fuel tank is on both the avionics are off electrical switches are all off circuit breakers are all in and they all feel good all right so we're going to start the engine brakes are going to be hold and set mixture is going to go full rich uh carburetor heat is cold anti-collision is going to go on and master switch is going to go on and then primer is in and locked we're going to take our throttle to half an inch Gonna call clear, clear prop, and should be good to go. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm leaning the mixture. Okay, so I want to do one bit of business. So we got our weather. Visibility. Okay, good. So what I want to do is I'm going to put Caldwell Tower in here okay. because that is going to be one of the calls I'm going to make. So that is 119.8. That's just going to just to let them know that we're going to be going through their airspace. Okay transitioning through all right so we're gonna do a couple things so we're gonna go out here as i'm turning i'm going to be looking to see what's happening with my heading indicator to make sure it's moving free huh? i want to see this ball come this way that the ball is going opposite for my turn coordinator okay. and i want to make sure my compass is moving freely as well if any of those are stuck then we might think about whether or not we want to do this Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is check my brakes. All right, brakes are good. You want to check your brakes? 
All right, so now what you're gonna do is just and brakes. Perfect. My controls. Okay. Okay. So at any point, if you feel inclined and you want to fly, I will say to you, your controls. You will say back to me, my controls, and I will reconfirm to you your controls. Okay. At that point, you will have the plane. Since I'm piloting command, at any time if I say my controls, you say your controls, okay? Um, but that's just in the case now, there's no pressure, you don't have to fly, um, but in the event that I say, hey, do you want to fly? Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Then that's, that's how we'll work that, okay? okay? So I'm going to go out here, check these instruments like I said, we'll go out here, do a run up, check to make sure everything is cool, and if it is, then we'll uh, do a departure briefing and get on out of here. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so my heading indicator is moving, ball is opposite, and compass is moving freely as well. And so that's the first thing, you just want to make sure that all of that stuff is working properly. Okay. And like a lot of times what I do is like, when I first kind of do this taxi, sometimes I'll just kind of see, make sure each brake is working, so I'll do right toe, mm -hmm. left toe, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. sometimes one could be slacking. Okay. So that's just me. That's just a, a thing I do. So they don't do touch and goes? No. Yeah, because the, the uh, runway is too short. Okay. Doors closed and latched. Mm -hmm. Seat belts and harnesses are secure. Engine gauges all look normal. Full tip, full pressure. It's interesting how that suction bottoms out like that. Fuel looks good. Trim is set for takeoff. Flaps are going to be up because we're not going to do a short fill. Mixture is full rich. Carb heat is off. We're going to do... So let me do my briefing before I do my lights and stuff. So we're going to depart runway five and then we're going to do a right crosswind turn out to the north. If I'm not making best power, I don't like the suction or something doesn't feel right, I'm going to pull the power. We're going to come off. We'll decide what we want to do. Okay. Uh, if I, everything looks good, we rotate, but we're below seven, we lose the engine, something happens, we're just going to land straight forward. There's a little bit of an area in the front. I'm not going to uh -huh. try to turn left or right. We're just going to go right down, uh -huh. put her down right forward. If we're above a thousand, then what I'll do is I'll try to see if I have time to troubleshoot, see if something's going on with the car heat or the mixture, uh, but certainly we'll try to make our way back. Got if not, I'll phase. just find a place to put it down. Again, there's some fields out there in the front off of five. I'm gonna put it down there. Okay. Bottom line is this. We're gonna walk away from whatever happens. Right. Okay? All right. So, any questions about that? No. All right, so car Pete is cold. Let's turn on our taxi and landing light. I won't turn on my strobes. All right, throttle friction is good. And we are Good to go. All right. Doylestown traffic, Cessna 6086 Golf, departing one way five, gonna do a uh, right crosswind out to the north, Doylestown. Right. I don't see anybody on final or hear anybody in the pattern, and nobody is on the field. We got a left crosswind. I'm going to have to put some aileron into the wind to start off with. Then we'll get on out of here. Sounds good. Usually don't get to hear me do a, um, a departure briefing too often because I'm usually by myself, but I wanted to do one for Charlene so she can hear it. Okay, so let's see. I see 05. 05, 05. All right, heels to the floor. Full power. All right, engine instruments look good. Suction looks good. Uh -huh. Oil temp, oil pressures all look good. Airspeed is coming alive. We got a little bit of a shimmy. Take a little bit of pressure off of that front wheel. And there's the kick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And see, and that's why it was good that we got to see it. Yes. <laughs> Trim it out for a climb. And we got to wait until we're at 1200 before we can make our turn. And that kick I was talking about, Charlene and I knew that it was windy and we watched another airplane take off before we did. 
and we saw as soon as they got above the trees, I mean, that wind just kicked that wing. So we were anticipating it. A little smoother up here. All right, everything looks good. All right, so as I'm going, so it's town traffic, Cessna. 6086 Golf, right crosswind turn out to the north, last call, Doyle Sound. All right, so I am in my climb phase, so my climb checklist, mixture is full rich, I like where my power is set, taxi landing lights comes off. And we're just gonna keep climbing to our cruising altitude and just being aware of traffic. All right, so now we're gonna go over to that tower. Okay. And then I'm going to put Lincoln Parks, or the ATIS for, it's actually not Lincoln Parks ATIS because they share it with uh, Essex three. County. Okay. See how there's a lot of work to do here? Mm -hmm. 0.5. All right. And I don't hear anything yet, but I definitely want to get my weather as soon as possible. Okay. We're climbing out at so our vertical speed. We're climbing out almost a thousand feet per minute. And it's variable as we hit different winds. Okay. Yeah, so now we're in cruise phase. And now this is where you just kind of get to enjoy it a little bit. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a <laughs> like I said, it's a little choppy. We, our flight isn't that long, so oh, that's bad. why I didn't want to, you know. What was bad was the day I told y'all felt I was gonna just throw up. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> but this is very mild compared to that day. So let me ask you, so how did you get involved in aviation? So it's a two-fold story. Okay. My daughter wanted an airplane birthday for her ninth birthday. Okay. So at our church, Tom Daniels, he's a pilot. He arranged for us to go to Quaker Town. Okay. And she had an airplane party where we went and all of her friends met us there. Wow. And they flew us and we got turns to fly. And my sister and I were hooked. So I was like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Let's do it. And my dad was actually um, in the Air Force. Oh, and he actually worked okay. on auto planes. He's okay. a mechanic. Okay. okay. And so originally I was supposed to actually join the Air Force and learn to fly that way before I got married and all that. But when I was, my day for the appointment, <laughs> they announced we were going to war in Kuwait, so I never showed up. Oh, wow. I chickened out. <laughs> Stayed here, graduated from Temple, got married the next year, and finally found my way back. Okay. So finally found okay. my way back. Excellent, so, excellent. Good. Well, for people don't know, Charlene is my sister in the Black Pilots of America, the Roscoe Draper chapter. Yes. And um, yeah, you know, I, like I said, this is always a thrill to be able to share aviation with somebody, and especially somebody who is just as interested in it as I am. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm just thrilled that we get to fly today. The door is always open. Um, and thank you to all you folks out there that, um, that make this possible. You know, the reason why, you know, I'm able to do this is I got a kid in college while we're climbing. <laughs> um, is, you know, is because, you know, you guys watch these videos. Like I said, you know, you guys are doing merch and stuff like that. So it really does help. Because I don't want to have anybody have to pay, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's awesome. Um, so what we're going to do is... We're gonna to continue to make our way. One of the things that I have to do, so what I'm gonna do is, um, you're gonna definitely do some flying on the way back. On the way there, I'm, I just wanna be make sure that we're not, we're not in this Bravo. There's a lot of traffic around uh -huh. us. Um, yeah. So basically, you're helping like, spotting traffic is gonna yeah. be helpful. I think that's Newark. Oh, out there. okay. But yeah, there's a lot of traffic. Okay. A lot of them are higher than us, so. Yeah, so um, so one of the things we're gonna do is um, I gotta call Caldwell Tower, let them know that we might be going through their airspace. Huh? And, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. And the other thing that we need to be concerned about is Newark's Class Bravo airspace. So right now, I'm at 3,500 feet, uh -huh. and that's right at that Bravo shell. Okay. So I'm actually going to have to go down, probably going to go back down like 1,000 to 2,500. Okay. 
and uh, make sure we're under that shelf, and then the fun begins. Okay. But on the way back, you'll definitely get some time to play. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm just happy to be up here. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what I'm, what I'm doing as I'm flying is I'm always mindful of my, there's a couple things that I'm looking at. Of course, my altimeter, because I want it, but I'm also looking at my vertical speed indicator, because that's giving me an idea of a trend. Okay. And then I'm also looking at my power and my speed, okay. because that'll also give me some indication of what could possibly be happening there. Okay. So that's why you always want to continue to cross-check these things that way you don't have to worry about being fixated on something. Okay. Because I may be fixated here, but I may be going slow. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? So, and as you can see, the power is kind of going. So, you know, we hit, remember we said about that headwind? Yeah. So we got about a five knot headwind or so. Uh -huh. So that's the other thing that we're contending with. And then of course, because this cloud layer has kind of gotten lower. Yeah, I was um, like, I feel like I can touch them. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this is weird not having my yoke mount. <laughs> but you adapted, and that's good. Yeah, yeah. Easily enough, my yoke mount was actually sitting in the lost and found at Doylestown Airport. I had left it in another airplane the last time I flew for one of my checkouts. I want to hear what's happening at the tower. And then as soon as I'm done with them, I got to switch to Lincoln Park real quick. Okay. Let's send up one. And so there's Public a lot of people training uh, there. Mm -hmm. All right, so it looks like our traffic has opened up. So you want to see what I'm looking at here? Mm -hmm. number three, phone says I had him downwind. Three, two, zero. All right, so see where we are? Mm -hmm. See the airplane? Mm -hmm. All right, now see the circle? So the one yep. circle is five nautical miles. Mm -hmm. The outside circle is 10 nautical miles. Okay. And that, arrow, that green arrow shows you the trend of where we're going. Okay. Where we'll be when we'll be there. So that's why I need to do a little turn. So watch it turn just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then those other airplanes, so now we're on, directly on course. Right. Those little blue triangles are the other aircraft. That's a lot. And the numbers are telling you where they are. Okay. If it's, if an arrow is up or down, mm -hmm. if it's down, if it's just plus, I think, it's above. Okay. If it's an arrow down, if it's a, if it's negative, it's below. And then you'll see an arrow up or down, that means they're either climbing or descending. Okay. So you can see our track. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that because I wanted to stay out. I wanted to come more from a westerly. And then as you can see, so if you take your finger and kind of move it. This one? Yeah, just move it like this way, the other way. All right, so see that, those circles? Mm -hmm. That's the Bravo. Okay. And so that's where, now you see those numbers in there? Mm -hmm. That's where you can tell where you need to be in terms of what that Bravo shelf is. Okay. Now that, on the top, there's that little circle next to the, where you know the window, like right at the top of the screen, mm -hmm. where you do, they do the search bar. Mm -hmm. If you click that little circle, that's kind of like, Okay, and then that basically takes us back to, okay, now we're okay. tracking the plane. Okay. For whatever reason, each time you move the screen, mm -hmm. it, uh, you know, sometimes it'll take it off of that track. Okay. And so what, what you're going is the Sentry is feeding into core flight. Wow. So, and so it's picking up the transponder uh -huh. from the other aircraft and okay. reporting it over there. Well, that's cool. Definitely need one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, what I'm always constantly scanning to is, okay, engine goes out, where do I go? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> the engine goes out, where I go, so I pick my field, um, I probably shoot for there. Okay. That that one that's like really dead looking, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd be able to make that one. Okay. That's definitely the place where I go, this looks a little too tight, mm -hmm. uh, definitely a lot more open over there. And that's the one thing, you know, that's... You only got one engine, so... Right. You don't have the option of the second engine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a co-worker, they're mad that I'm flying. Oh, really? So I have to tell them, like, look, it's safe. <laughs> so on Monday when I get there... See, Liz, it's safe. <laughs> I won't show her the bumpy part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She'll probably freak out. 
she always says, don't tell me. I was like, well, I want you to know I'm going Saturday. <laughs> I told you not to tell me. <laughs> like, I'll be okay. I'll be here Monday, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, she actually really encouraged me. Because um, when Byron passed away, she was like, you have to start self-care. And you have to find something you've always wanted to do and do it. To keep yourself moving forward. So she encouraged me to get my nails done every two weeks. Nice. Um, to go get a massage once a month. And I told her I was doing aviation. She said, I didn't say that much. That's like a big step. <laughs> I was like, no, but Liz, I've always wanted to do it. Right. And I did tell Byron, and it was on our bucket list 22 weeks before he had his massive stroke. I said, so I really want to do it. She was like, okay, but don't tell me until you land. I was like, okay. <laughs> so yeah. it's been a blessing. Yeah, I will say that, um I mean, you see, my wife is flowing with me. She is yeah. not an airplane person. Yeah. So this is not be a day where I would bring her up at all. Oh, definitely not. Yeah. Like my mom, when I, like I got her to go for Naomi's birthday. Uh -huh. She was like, I'm done. I was like, mom, when I get my solo stuff and you can come, she was like, nope. <laughs> I was like, all right, how about if we do the big plane? So that's the plane I was showing you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, maybe. I'll, I said, well, let me warm you up to that because when I get to that point, we out. Right, we right. We are flying everywhere we want to go. <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> all right, so we are about to... I see somebody's going to be descending off of our probably like 11 o'clock. Okay. Because they're going to be diving down too. So I am going to a thousand. So they're going to be coming across here. Mm -hmm. They're about a thousand feet up. Okay. I want to extend this just a touch because I know they're up there even though I can't see them. Mm -hmm. He's only four above me, but he's somewhere there. Yeah. I'm going to let him get some space. All right, they're right at our altitude. Gonna be there. It is. See it. Mhm. Mm so since this video's getting a little long, what I thought I would do is, you know, get let's get to the landing. Um, and as you can see on takeoff, we get a wind, little wind kick. I also get another little wind kick when we come into Lincoln Park. Um, but also the wheel shimmy shows up as well. So, but I got to tell you, I felt pretty good about the landing. It was a little harder than I wanted it to be. Um, but given the craziness of the winds and the crosswind, not a bad job. So, all right, let's get to the landing. Cue the music. put the key up there just okay. get used to putting the key up there so that way like the people who are like if they chalk your plane mm -hmm. they know that the key is out so okay. the mag is not hot so that propeller won't okay. go that's just good to know the propeller ain't gonna move if i'm gonna put my head down right. and put the chalk in all right so we made it i think my Yay. camera died at one point uh whatever uh so here we're at lincoln park we're gonna go in here get some grub and then uh fly on back but yeah Time to go, ground to grub. So we're at the Sunset Pub and Grill at Lincoln Park. All right, thank you for flying with us, Russ Kid. Can fly, Charlene can fly. <laughs> All right, we out.